Hello, welcome to my channel. So today let us learn the kidneys. So here you are seeing two kidneys. We have two kidneys, bean shaped structures which is placed on either side of the vertebral column retroperitoneally. Kidney is an example of retroperitoneal organ. So here you are seeing two kidneys and here we have the ureters and here is the urinary bladder. So we have two kidneys, ureters and urinary bladder. The function of the kidney is the production of urine. The urine which is produced by the kidneys which is carried away by the ureters to the urinary bladder. We know the kidneys are bean shaped structures placed on the posterior abdominal wall. So here is a kidney and on the upper part of the kidney there is the suprarenal gland. So here you are seeing the suprarenal gland. Now let us learn the anatomy of kidney. Each kidney has got two poles. There is an upper pole and lower pole, two borders. There is a lateral border and a medial border, two surfaces. There is an anterior surface and there is posterior surface. You know, the upper pole is somewhat rounded, whereas the lower pole is pointed. And the anterior surface is convex and the posterior surface is flat. This is how we identify the surface of kidney. That is, anterior surface is somewhat convex and the posterior surface is somewhat flat. Then I told you there is there are two borders, lateral border and medial border. Lateral border is convex and the medial border is at the upper and lower pole convex and in the middle part it is concave. The concave middle portion of the medial border is known as the hilum of kidney where he, we have the renal vessels and the renal pelvis. Renal pelvis is the upper expanded part of the ureter. Now let us see how to hold the structure in anatomical position or how to identify the side of the viscera. So by looking at its ex external features, identify the upper pole and the lower pole and the medial border we have the hilum and there is a lateral border. Okay, And if we see the structures at the hilum of the kidney, we have the renal vein, renal artery and renal pelvis. From before backwards, we have the renal vein, then comes the renal artery and the renal pelvis, VAP, before backwards. Okay, So now you can see which side this belongs. This is the left kidney, left kidney. Okay, Let us see the other organ. So here again, just look at the structures at the hilum identify the renal vein, the thinner renal vein and the thicker renal artery and here we have the renal pelvis, renal pelvis. Okay, So this organ belongs to the right side, belongs to the right side. Then again look at the direction of the ureter, ureter is directed downwards. So here if we hold like this, see we have the renal vein anteriorly, then comes the renal artery and the renal pelvis or the ureter. Okay, so remember the direction of the ureter it is direct downwards. Now, how this structure is situated? I told you it is placed on either side of the vertebral column. Okay, and remember the vertebral level T12, L1, L2, and L3. The L1, remember, it is a transpyloric plane. Okay, the hilum of the kidney lies at the L1. L1. Okay, remember this one. Now, upper part of the kidney is 2.5 cm away from the vertebral column, the hilum or the middle portion 5 cm away from the mid, uh, middle, uh, vertebral column and the lower pole is 7.5 cm away from the vertebral column. Okay, That means the long axis of the kidney is directed downwards and laterally, downwards and laterally. Okay, Again, the right kidney lies a little lower than the left kidney because of the massive liver on the right side. Now, at the medial border of the kidney, there is a depression that is known as the renal sinus, where we have the renal vessels, renal vessels and the renal pelvis and it is filled with fat. All structures are present in the renal sinus. Then here you can see this is the renal vein which is draining into the inferior vena cava. Then we have a renal artery which is a branch of abdominal iota. Here is the abdominal iota. So renal artery abdominal iota then the renal vein which drains into the inferior vena cava. In 
Now let us learn the relations of kidneys, anterior relations of kidneys. Here we have this is the right kidney and here we have the left kidney. Okay. If we see the right kidney, at the upper part of the right kidney we have the right suprarenal gland and here we have the left suprarenal gland. Okay. If we see the right kidney near the hilum, this particular area is related to the duodenum, is related to the duodenum. Okay. And area below this suprarenal gland. This area is related to the liver, is a right kidney. So, here is this uh, area is related to the liver. Okay, so below this particular area of the kidney is related to the colon, right colon, and near the lower pole, medial most part, there is the jejunum. This is the jejunal area. Again, so this area is related to the duodenum, and the upper pole we have the suprarenal gland. Below, there is a hepatic area, and below that, there is a colic area, and this small area is related to the jejunum. So these are the anterior relation of the right kidney. Then coming to the anterior relation of the left kidney. I told you at the upper pole we have the supranal gland. Okay. And this particular area. Okay. That means the lateral border. Upper lateral border. Upper part of the lateral border. There is a spleen is related. Spleen is related. And just below this splenic area here we have the gastric area stomach is related and below this here is the uh, pancreas is related you know at the hilum of the spleen there is a pancreas tail of the pancreas is related so this is the pancreatic area pancreatic area okay and below this area is related to the jejunum related to the jejunum and area below here we have the colic area colic area then what about the posterior relations you know posteriorly the kidneys are related to the ribs and the diaphragm okay you know the right kidney lies little lower than the left one so it is related to the 12th rib right kidney is related to the 12th rib and the upper part if this is the right kidney okay if you see the posterior surface of the right kidney so here we have the 12th rib okay and up to this there is a diaphragm diaphragm is related okay and this area we have a muscle that is a quadratus lumborum quadratus lumborum and there are three nerves are related okay just below the area of the diaphragm we have the subcostal vessels and nerves are related then comes the ilio hypogastric and ilio inguinal ilio inguinal and ilio hypogastric okay the difference between right and left posterior surface of the kidney is the extra rib on the left side the kidney lies at a higher level than the right one so the 11 and 12th ribs related 11th and 12th ribs are related then rest of the relations are of same again you know kidneys are supplied by the renal artery okay renal arteries are the branches of abdominal aorta okay and the venous return is through the renal veins and the renal veins opens into or empties into the inferior vena cava inferior vena cava now let us see the internal structure of kidneys okay so here we we cut open the kidney you get something like this these kidneys are covered by fibrous capsule okay the area just inner to the fibrous capsule this is known as a cortex this is the cortex so here you are seeing the cortex and inner medulla outer cortex and inner medulla if you see this inner medulla there are 5 to 11 conical structures pyramidal shaped structures these are known as the renal pyramids renal pyramids renal pyramids i told you they are conical shaped structures it has got a base and apex that apex is known as the renal papillae renal papillae okay then what do you mean by one lobe of kidney one lobe of kidney means which includes the renal pyramid okay and part of the cortex above this base of this renal pyramid is known as the cortical arches this is the cortical arch and part of the cortex that lies between two renal pyramid is known as the renal column we have the cortical arch and renal column okay one lobe of the kidney include one renal pyramid cortical arches over that and on either side we have the renal column so these cones if you see this cortex and medulla I told you medulla we have the renal pyramids are there okay and the renal pyramids has got an epic I mean, I mean there is an apex here that apex is known as the renal papillae so renal papillae so here also you can see so many renal papillae are there so renal papillae you see here again very clearly you can see renal papillae opens into the minor calyx so this is the minor calyx this is another minor calyx these minor calyx fuses to form the major calyx 
the major calyx so here one minor calyx here another minor calyx so here so you can see so many minor calyx are there these minor calyces fuses to form joins to form the major calyx so major calyces fuses or joins to form the renal pelvis renal pelvis is the upper expanded portion of the ureter that is all about the demonstration of the kidney if you like the video please like comment and subscribe